Hi there. So we're going to start to speak today about um, ex uh, extracting special characters. Unlike last time when we discussed the algorithm, today we're going to discuss implementation in the if and the way how you can use it. And as usually, you will have access to the special branch that uh, basically has been created uh, with the state of the source code from today's lesson. So you always can check out this branch, no matter what is going on in the master, and you will have the exactly same version of the source code that I'm going to demonstrate. But first, before we're going to dive to the actual implementation of the IEF, let me show you how you can use uh, a simple extraction of the tokens in your project. So here is a small example, and basically I'm going to load the text, and we don't care about this particular load text method. This method just reads a book to create a text. Uh, I'm going to use the text of the Bible, and I used to show you in the previous version of the lessons with the Python. Uh, then I'm going to tokenize it by creating token tokenizer and tokenize all of this. Let me actually cut and paste it here, so we will have the correct sequence. So first I'm going to tokenize it, and uh, the process of tokenization had been shown to you in the previous lesson, so this should not have any question and should be more or less understandable, and we have a list of tokens. And the tokens are kind of dirty tokens, because they have this special character that need to be uh, extracted and the tokens need to be cleaned from these um, uh, characters. So in order to extract them, we're going to create uh, one extractor that use probability. So we have this interface, we have the numerator type, then you can decide type, there are different types of extractor and get the instance of such type. And you have this uh, separator extractor that basically has a really, really simple interface. Uh, it has method extract that an input requires list of token, and in output it has optional list of characters. Optional because it might get or might not get the uh, character splitter. And for the case of the Bible, as you can see, it extracts more or less okay. Actually, this is basically production, last production version. Now it works uh, much, much more better. It basically used the formula and the algorithm that had been explained to you in a uh, lesson with Python, previous lesson with Python. And this last production version is basically, if I'm not mistaken, beta one. Now we are going to discuss beta two. Uh, basically, beta 1 has been using slightly different, uh, less efficient uh, algorithm, so it uh, has some, um, some char character that has not been extracted correctly. But okay, let's basically dive to the implementation, since you're already familiar with um, the formula and the, with the algorithm. If not, or if you don't remember, please stop and please go to the previous lesson where we actually discuss the algorithm. Okay. So let's jump to our uh, extractor. So here is an interface that we just discussed. Interface has uh, three implementation. It's predefined. It's uh, predefined basically always return the same amount of character that predefined. And probably, uh, okay, let's keep this for now. Non-alphabetic character extraction that basically goes, it reads through all the text and check whether a character is, um, as a, uh, character or not character, if it's not an alphabetic character, he just uh, return it as a separator. And so, and probability. Probability is basically the heuristic that we discuss and I showed to you uh, with Python implementation and we're going to discuss it today. Okay, so probability guy is this guy, stat separator, uh, stat separator extractor, stats from statistic. Um, okay. And first of all, because b before we're going to dive, uh, as you can see, there is a lot of work to do here. So if you have time, uh, do please participate. I would appreciate all of your participation. And first of all, it's need to be refactored according to the Google Java style guide uh, from what it is now. Uh, then uh, it's basically use uh, settings. We have these global settings. And as you can see right now, this setting that basically has some special uh, global uh, tuning. Right now, the settings, they are just singleton, but they need to be extracted and injected with choose uh, that we're using on our project. Uh, so yes, 
uh, then it should be document documented. Whatever we're going to discuss today, it would be nice to have a Java doc that exp actually explains the same or almost the same. And the last one, it would be nice to publish article on our blog. So we do have a blog where anyone can prepa uh, prepare article and actually publish. The blog is slightly outdated, but I hope that community will start publishing articles uh, on the blog again. So if you do want, please participate. Okay, so I have explained you all this issue, as usually they can be found on our official issue tracker. So with this number. Now let's actually jump to actual implementation. So what we care about is this one method, extract, that in uh, input has a bunch of tokens and in output has optional list of characters. And basically what it's just doing is wrapping uh, in optional whatever returns method get characters, get characters, sorry. And this is the main method that that all the magic. And we do have a CLI. And as you can see, some of the methods are visible for CLI. So CLI using this method, and this is wrong. So first of all, there is some required work for CLI. Uh, our CLI basically should not use these get characters. It should use public method, and we should never um, expose any method just for the sake of, sake of CLI. So this needs to be changed. Okay, but anyway, uh, let's go uh, to the implementation. Uh, at first step, we're filtering tokens. Uh, let's me let me show you what happens in filter. So inside of the filter, we actually uh, uh, we actually for each of the token making them lowercase. This is very important since uh, in the Python implementation, I'll show you implementation when we um, analyzing only end characters. In IF version, we're actually analyzing start characters as well because you know, you might have, um, uh, you might have some characters that actually in the beginning of the token, but also sentence splitter like some quotas some special quotas. So there is opening quotas and closing quotas. Uh, and because we're analyzing a start of the tokens as well, we do need to have lowercase otherwise uh, special uh, otherwise character that has uh, uppercase because they're starting the sentence. Like, let me show you an example. Uh, because I, so let's have this lame sentence because, uh, <sighs> Okay, As awesome day, like this simple awesome day, one sentence. Uh, as you can see, A here is uppercase, and uh, our heuristic will see that this character, because uppercase A is not equals lowercase A, uh, will tell us that this character, uppercase A, always in the beginning of the token, if you have the, a, a lot of the text. So that's why we do need to make it lowercase. So now we do know that this character um, uh, in the beginning of the token and in the middle. So this is first. Then we're removing multiple AND characters. Basically, if we have something AND, this would be translated as something like AND. And again, this is done because we don't care about multiple AND characters. If they're the same, we do need only one guy like this. Uh, this is, again, just preparation before main parsing. Uh, okay, then we're filtering by the lengths. So we have each token, we converting token to the lengths, and when, uh, then we're reading a length from the settings, and we have this field, minimal valuable token size for sentence split. Uh, by default, this is three characters. So if the token is less than three characters, we're ignoring and dropping it. And then we're just uh, collecting everything to the list, what we have. So okay, okay we have discussed first filter. So we just preparing our token for analysis. Then we're doing interesting thing. We have end character start data extractor and uh, start character data extractor. Uh, for explaining what these guys are doing, we, I want I need to explain you guys what is stat data. It's basically statistical data. Statistical data includes uh, three map. One map is basically a map between character and amount of time this character was on the edge. Edge might be end or start of the sentence. Then just amount of characters, map that includes a character and amount how many times generally this character was absorbed in token, no matter uh, on the edge or not. And then characters near edge characters. So if we're analyzing end characters, these would be characters before end character. So if we have word, uh, 
let's say and in this map we would have a key dot then we would have another map that return for this key and in this another map we would have d that maps to one because uh, for this particular small text and we observe dot one time and we observe d one time before dot when the dot was in end character so I do hope that you remember uh, why we need this from the previous lecture. So this should be familiar to you. We um, uh, used to calculate something like characters data, I think, or character stats, something like this, like a huge map, if you remember. So this is basically that maps. Okay, and then I'm not going to dive to all of these methods. Uh, the most important part is this one, get probability the character is a is splitter character. Uh, an input that has har character. And this method should be really familiar to you because this formula, we, we have discussed this formula in our previous lesson. We calculate in probability that this guy character is actually um, on the edge, uh, like s s splitter character. Then we uh, getting power of two of this probability that power of two and multiply to the probability that character before this guy is actually edge character. Uh, I'm not going to die to the formula of this stuff because we have discussed it on the previous lesson. You can die to this implementation yourself. It's uh, more or less easy. Um, uh, I hope you do familiar with uh, all this nice fancy stuff from Java 8 like lambdas and streams. Uh, if not, just ping me. I will explain it to you more deeply. But in general, from the high level, you do need. Uh, I hope you do understand this formula already from the previous lesson. If not, please go to the previous lesson and actually uh, revisit it again before proceeding here. Okay, so this state, uh, st uh, stat data requires uh, two interesting, uh, uh, this stat, stat data, yeah, actually we have discussed everything it needs, so let's go, let's go back. And we have uh, two of them, one, sta one da data that uh, extract data for end character and one data that extract uh, for start character, because obviously this is two separate data that has different values. Okay, so we parsing and extracting everything we need, uh, we need to know, we have these uh, two objects. Now, uh, what happens next? N next we we're doing this normalization for each of the characters. W what basically normalization? So we have statistical data for start character, statistical data for end character. Uh, what we are doing, we actually, uh, for each character, we calculate in probability one that this is a uh, start character or probability two that this is end character. We have this method that we discussed. And when, then we basically just getting max, uh, whatever is bigger probability that he start or end and saving and saving this to the list and sorting, sorting data. So we have um, characters with the biggest probability on top and the lowest probability on the bottom. Let's go back. Okay, so we have filtered tokens. Then we have statistical data for beginning and end characters. Then we're normalizing all of these guys. And the last part, we need actually to filter to figure out who is actually a sentence splitter and who is not. Because before we just has had all the characters uh, sorted by the probability, but it's not giving us the final answer who is actually a splitter. And at the moment, and this is actually most, um, doubtful method, most uncertain method that need to be changed because right now it's a, it's, it's a dirty hack and uh, um, I've done a couple of research how this could be optimized and there is only open work and you can help me here, you can just feel free to ping me, ask what needs to be done, how you can help or maybe you have your own idea how uh, we can split by this probability where the line line that we can draw and say, okay, yes, everything bigger with bigger probability than this is actually sentence splitter, less than this is not sentence splitter. At this moment, what we are basically doing, we taking um, all the characters starting from zero and searching first, that is alphabetical. So we will have all characters that are not alphabetical on top. And then when we actually reaching first, that is alphabetical, 
we saying okay everything before is actually sentence splitter and if we don't have any we're returning empty collection if we do have any we just returning sublist from zero to the place where our first alphabetical is not inclusive first alphabetical uh, character incurs so this is really a dirty hack because uh, essentially you might have something you, you might have this list that has like dot um, comma and then some character like smile that actually in the particular text use as a part of tokens not the sentence splitter but because is alphabetical will return true this algorithm will uh, uh, will think that our smile is actually sentence splitter when it's not so this is like a dirty hack. So this requires much more investigation and a lot of work done here to actually find this clue. Uh, but again, this is open question and I do encourage you to investigate, to research it here and put your name on the map with the results of the research. Uh, okay, uh, so basically this is it. Uh, last part that we do need is just a map a statistical data to actual characters because right now we've been using uh, using uh, correct uh, character statistical data and we just need to extract character and from the list of statistical data uh, actually get a list of characters and just then just return it that's all uh, so basically, now I hope after looking at the previous lesson with Python, you do understand what happens here. Uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of method that uh, I left um, under the uh, the boat here uh, because I do hope that they're simple. You can just go through all of them, and from the high level perspective, you do have already understanding from previous lesson how the algorithm work. And today, I hope I give you a clue on uh, which classes and interface you need to look and which methods you need to look how they are working and most important what you can do to help the project to help if move forward uh, with all these to do's and open issues that you can participate and help to fix uh, yeah so thank you very much guys uh, it's been a pleasure to uh, to speak with you today and we are finishing our first season that used to be about tokens and in the next season, we're going to start speaking about sentence and how we actually going to uh, separate uh, sentence and um, cluster sentence on segment and separate seg sentence on segments inside and stuff like this. So stay tuned and I will be back with you in the next season. Bye.